What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be interviewing Floyd Mayweather. They're going to be discussing about between Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz. So let's see what they have to say about that. A man who needs no introduction, the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. Lakers down to the socks right now. I see you all those championships, Floyd. I know you're liking it. Um, thank you so much for being with us. I know it's early for you. But talk to me about Saturday night. Why is this a must watch? Because Javante Tank Davis is about to take care of business against Leo Santa Cruz. That's why. Uh, this is a must watch because you have one guy that wants to prove to the world that he's able to jump weight classes and be up there with the likes of a Sugar Ray Leonard, like a Floyd Mayweather, uh, like a Roy Jones, and so many others that have jumped different weight classes and tested their skills. And I'm talking about Leo Santa Cruz, um, relentless, tough competitor. And then we have another kid from Baltimore, um, like a baby Mike Tyson, but wants to wants to show the world that he's a pay-per-view star in Javante Tank Davis. Um, 23 wins, 22 knockouts, and um, uh, this is a, a must-see because, I mean, both guys are relentless. One, one guy, power puncher, heavy hitter. Another guy would never quit and come straight ahead with the will to win. So when you got <clears throat> two guys like this in both, uh, with that uh, that killer attitude, it, it's going to be a, a great fight. Floyd, I remember. So I think this is going to be a great fight too. Um, I have my money on uh, Javante Tank Davis. Well, I don't bet any money, but I think he's going to win. Um, but it's not going to be easy. Um, so Leo Santa Cruz is, is an absolute monster. Um, that guy is relentless. Like Floyd Mayweather said, he's going to hit you with a thousand punches and he's going to take Javante Tank Davis into some deep waters that uh, places where he's never been before in his career. Um, but I think once it's all said and done, I think Javante Tank is he's probably going to win. Uh, he has too much power. Um, if anything, I hope he tries to get Leo Santa Cruz out in maybe the earlier rounds because if not, Leo Santa Cruz is going to take that man into some deep water and he might get in some trouble. So let's continue. Interviewing you for the first time in 1998 on Friday Night Fights on ESPN2. And I don't know, you might have been yes. 20 or 22. I was only like maybe 25 at the time. And, and I thought you were going to be a great fighter and all that. But there was some question as to the way they were going to market you at the time and how you would become a pay-per-view attraction. And you had different ideas than your promoter at the time, Top Rank. And you yes, proved absolutely. yourself right the way you marketed yourself and you became the number one pay-per-view attraction. When you look at Tank, when you looked at him originally, what made you think, this guy, I want to, I want to be with this guy in his career. I want to mentor him. I want to guide his career because I believe he can be a pay-per-view star. What about Tank? made you believe that i believed in him because he was a he came to my gym actually I, I, when i first met him i don't i don't really know his exact age but he was a young kid came to me wanted an autograph and i told him within a few years i said this is to the future world champion and i if i'm not mistaken within four years he was world champion uh when i first signed his phone but this kid got the will to win i mean the attitude i mean he's mean he's hungry and he's dedicated and he's a heavy hitter, you know. Uh, I've never seen a guy, you know, uh, you know, with the will to win like Tank. The same will that he, that I see in Tank is what I seen in myself when I looked in the mirror. So, I mean, this kid got dynamite in his hands. What else can I say? He's got. Yeah. So, like again, I think Tank is gonna win this, but it just kind of seems like Leo Santa Cruz. I think he could be able to get inside uh, Javante Davis's head. I think if they get move go on to the mid and later rounds, I bet you he can really get in the head of Javante Tank Davis because he looks like um, he looks like he's ready. But just something tells me if they get into the later rounds and he isn't able to take down Leo Santa Cruz within the early rounds or the mid rounds, I think that Leo Santa Cruz can definitely get in mind of a Javante Tank Davis and he might get in some trouble because, like I said. You know, Leo Santa Cruz is going to hit you with a thousand punches and you better be able to take care of that, you know, for all rounds. And like I said, I don't know. It's going to be very, very tough for Jermonta Tank Davis uh, if they go to the later rounds. Dynamite in his hands, Floyd. I ain't going to take that away from him. I like Javante a lot. 
But I ain't going to lie. I want to see him against someone other than Leo Santa Cruz. I expect him to handle his business thoroughly this Saturday night. I'm looking forward to it. I will be watching that fight. But I just foresaw Teofimo Lopez going up against Lomachenko. And I want to see Javante Davis fight those kind of guys. What do you say to that? How soon can we expect to see that? I mean, when we say those kind of guys, I mean, meaning that we can, we, we're never going we, we're never going to take anything away from my fighter. My fighter didn't have to go to the Olympics, and as of right now, um, my fighter is on pay per view, and he's fighting on pay per view for a reason. I mean, uh, Tank has went out there every time, pleased the crowd, and proved to the world that he deserves to be on that big stage. Floyd, there's there's two different things, and you wore both hats very well. Um, you're among the best of all time. You have a case for being the best of all time, certainly in terms of the box. Well, uh, Floyd Mayweather might be pound for pound the best fighter, but he's definitely not the best fighter ever. Like I said, I, like I said, I repeat that. Floyd Mayweather might be the best pound for pound fighter ever. But there's definitely, obviously, because of his weight class, that there's other guys that come in and stomp him with the heavyweights. But pound for pound, I think you can make a great argument for Floyd Mayweather to be that 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 guy. In business and one of the great pure, one of the greatest pure boxers of all time as well. But I think what Stephen A. is touching on there is something fans are interested in. So uh, that's like that's so, that's the like the competitive aspect. Do you feel well, do you do you feel that because you, you're saying that look, Tank's already on pay per view. He didn't have to do the same thing everyone else had to do. When, well, you got to realize this, Tank. When Tank went and won the world title, he beat an undefeated fighter. He went out there and beat a top a, a top guy when he first won the world title, and he wasn't even ranked in the top ten. So we're not going to discredit. Uh, my champion and my fighter. He's hungry. He's dedicated. And when a time presents itself, it doesn't matter who it is. Tank is going to go out there and do what he has to do. Now, Leo Santa Cruz is also a fighter that's testing the waters to be great. True. And to test the waters to be great, you have to do the same thing Floyd Mayweather did. I slowly, gradually moved up and fought the best guys out there. Yeah, I like, I like. Yeah, so definitely, again, I think Leo Santa Cruz can definitely get in the head of Javante Tank Davis. But uh, I think, I think once it's all said and done, uh, Tank is going to beat Santa Cruz. But if it goes to later rounds, it's going to get very, very close. Very, very close. And I think their advantage would have to go to Santa Cruz because he's a monster. He's a, you know, nonstop, you know, uh, you throw a thousand punches your way type fighter and hopefully with the training of Javante Tank Davis he'll be able to you know go uh, maintain or uh, be able to keep at bay all those punches and stay focused and not uh, get beat so I don't know let's continue Santa Cruz but he's not Floyd Mayweather I mean Santa Cruz is a good fighter and, and, he's not Floyd oh, and, let's be very, and let's be very clear Nobody's trying to discredit Javante because Javante can fight. We know this. And the brothers got knockout power. We see we see what he can do. What I'm saying is, is that there are some elite cats. You know, Leo Santa Cruz is not even in the top five in the junior lightweight division. You got a situation where in the lightweight division, Javante is right up there climbing the charts. And there's a couple of elite fighters that I think that he could take. It would be interesting to see that. I want to know how soon so now, so now, would you like to see so that? Now we, so now we're basing a fight off just of one fight i no. told you guys before i i never took nothing away from lomachenko i thought he was solid but it's you guys that talk and said oh he's basically better than muhammad